morning. Quick Harbor Freight has got me a five gallon wet dry vacuum blower. My shop vac needs a new hose. So I went to price the hoses and they're $20. This is $40. I figured I'd get this and give it a shot. So it's five gallon wet dry blower vacuum, eight amps, five gallon. The hose length is six foot. The diameter is one and a quarter. Power cord's eight foot long. One thing I could not find on the stats is what is the cubic feet per minute on the suction and the blow pieces of this. It's not on the box and it's not in the manual. I went online to get the manual. The small two and a half gallon has 21 cubic feet per minute. It doesn't sound like a whole lot, so I wanted to try this. I just finished a project where I created this dirt. Normally I'd start with a clean table. I thought I'd just leave that there and we could try this. So what's inside? So I knew it was five gallons, but taking it out of the box, it's a baby. So now we've got some clips. Some glue on the side there. It uses a bag filter. And here is the cord. I was hoping it would be the same size as the Big Shot back, but it's not. That's just a pressure fit. Okay. It's got this end piece molded onto the hose. It would be better if that would turn like this turns. So they give you three of these end pieces. Of course, very seldom do I ever use end pieces. It comes with a manual, but you do know you can go online and get all the manuals. This is copyright 2014, so this is a relatively new device. You go online and get all the manuals, and I always look at the manuals before I buy it. It's got some wheels and some pickup attachments. I actually plan to use this for one thing, and that is dust collection. I thought about buying one of these for each device, like one for the table saw, one for the bandsaw, one for the drill press, and one for the sanders. We'll see how that goes after I use this one for a little bit. These are pretty simple to put together. And have screws somewhere because they come off. So I got me a little stubby screwdriver. I always think it's appropriate to use Harbor Freight tools to put Harbor Freight products together. I think it would be impossible to use this for dust collection on a table saw because it's only five gallons. It'd fill up fairly quickly. Most certainly not on the planer. This would be a couple of boards on the planer. So they give you a handle. That is a friction fit, but it'll come off. I know that little stubby screwdriver wasn't going to do this top, so I got a longer one. 
when you put that in, the screws go down inside the handle. Harbor Freight probably looks at that as a very efficient design, but I don't. Hopefully they'll line up better now. This is the exhaust port, and it's pretty much there all the time. On the shop vac, you have to take a cover off of that. Okay, so pretty much ready to rock right now. Here's a wind up for the cord. That would be nice, but I'm going to use it for dust collection, so I doubt if I ever have the cord rolled up. I'm just going to turn it on with this open. Try to see how much air it pulls compared to the shop bag. See, I'm pretty happy with that. Unlocking caster would be nice. So not that loud. Not that loud. And seems to work pretty good. Pretty sure on the I'd like to get the spec on this to see what uh, CFM it'll move either in the exhaust port and the intake port. I seem to remember on the shop back it was about 510. Of course that's 12 horsepower and this one doesn't really give horsepower. Showing how these go on, and I'll probably store them there simply because I don't have a use for it otherwise. Like all Harbor Freight tools, I'll keep the box for about two weeks, three weeks. Make sure that it's not defective and I have to take it back. I would like a bigger hose, but if you look at this, the intake is a lot bigger than the hose, and the shop vac has a hose that is the same as this, although standard is the thicker one a new hose for the shop vac would have cost me twenty dollars this one cost me forty so to me this was a good deal I, I was already going to spend half of the money and they have this for about forty dollars every couple of months might be constant i don't know regular price was regular price was 47 so marked down to 40 was a couple dollars off okay so let's look at the alternatives By default, it has this cloth bag that goes over it. But it also has a different way of running this, which is to take this filter and put over it. Wow, well, I tore that putting it on. put this on it and you got to cover up where you tore it and then it has this bag and you attach this bag inside over top of the intake port so I'm not going to do that because I have no desire to use a dust bag 
I'm doing this for sawdust collection on my power tools. Don't need it. So I'm going to take this foam filler off because I don't want it either. I used to have the shop backs, the, early, the older shop backs had a filter that went over top of this and it looked kind of like a corrugated filter. Nowadays, I think most of them are switching to these bags, which I'm perfectly okay with. I think they do a good job. And they might be more cost effective than the filters. Showed the option with the foam filter and the bag, but I have no desire to use those. Okay, so I'm just going to put it all together, set it aside, and then later I'll do a later video that shows. I've hooked it up as a dust collector. I think this one is probably going to go on the bandsaw. Uh, probably going to have to find a way to adapt this two inch port to the four inch port on the bandsaw, not use the two inch hose. But uh, I'll look at the specifics of that and I'll give you another review of how loud it is. For comparison, let's try the big shot back. my 12 gallon 5 horsepower shot back that is at least 20 years old okay, so I'm just going to put this off to the side there could be a time when I want to use this but for my use I don't think it's effective these are made for dry back only not wet back so if you want to use the wet back you have to take these out or it will run them Specifically, it's going to run the paper, it won't run the foam, but still they go as a pair. So here's your $40 wet dry vac, uh, substitute for a shop vac. I think for $40, this is a good deal. I think that it's going to be perfect for dust collection on my bandsaw and my drill press and my sander. So I'll probably buy a couple more of these as time goes by. Like I said, they're on sale every couple of weeks, every month or so. Hard to compare suction to blow, but to me, the suction is more effective than the blow. Of course, I don't have a use for the blow, so it doesn't matter. But it's the same thing pressure fit on the back. That's always open on a shot back. You have to open that. So there's a good overview of everything this can do, but I think this is well worth 40 bucks. I'd recommend it. The only question I have is how long it will actually last. I typically have good results with Harbor Freight tools, but not everybody does. So if this does fail, I'll post an update. Once I get this adapted into the bandsaw, I'll post an update. So if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. That is the ultimate uh, measure of success for anyone on YouTube. Thanks for watching.